Welcome back to YouLearn Tutorial. One of the cool things about Illustrator is it gets you up and running in a quick manner. Within Illustrator, there is a lot of default settings, and one of the work default settings is their workspaces. So you have layout, if you're into painting or printing. Now, of course, you can also create your own workspace as well, which I have, if you notice here. I have one for web design, and I also have one for print work. Why would you want to create your own workspace? Well, if you have two monitors that you use on a daily basis, may give you more exposure over the work panels. If you only have one work panel, maybe you don't need to have all these different work panels. For my example, I don't only have one monitor. I'm just using my laptop screen. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a new workspace just for this tutorial here. So if I expand my panels here, we have all these different panels. I don't really use all of them. For the example here, I may only use maybe a stroke. And what you can do is just grab it, select it by Click on once on the panel's name, and then once it's dark gray, you can now drag it out. So I'm not letting go of my mouse just yet until I'm just pull it right off. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull it all off. Okay, let's just do that. And I'm making a big mess here, as you can see. It's not a big deal because we will clean this up. Okay, just to show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so if I don't need a, a property or any of the panels itself, I can just have the close it off by using the X. Add to a panel, I can just take it by the name, click once on the name, and then drag it inside another panel. If you have noticed here, the, the panel itself goes blue. Okay, so I'm going to put it like so. And if you want it underneath it, you can. So just put it underneath it. I'm going to dock it underneath it. So just put it underneath until you get a solid blue line, as we see. There you go. swatches, I'm going to throw it in my color, graphic size I don't need. And then I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull this right out. Uh, I'm going to get rid of assets, asset exports. I'm going to move it up a bit. So again, if you want to move a, a pan around, you want to change the size, just grab it by the corner. Uh, what you do when you get it to the corner, you get a double arrow, and then you can expand it back and forth. Okay, and I'm going to take this one here and put it underneath. You can also put it on the side. I'm going to pull one out just as an example. I can put it onto the side here. So if I actually have two screens, I can have a lot of these pull it out. But because I only have one screen here, I'm just going to just use one example. And then once you're okay with that, I can now dock it to the side here, to my, of my Illustrator document. There we go. And once you're happy with this, you can, you can now save this. So under your workspaces, drop it down and go new workspace. And let's call it something. I'm going to call it my web workout and say OK. Now the cool thing about this is that if you decide to maybe do get a new screen and you make more of a mess again here and you go, oh man, I don't want to put it back together. What you can, can do in the workspaces, you can go reset workspace and it goes back to whatever setting that you had saved for this workspace. Pretty slick. If by chance you don't see your, your panels here that you have, you can always go to Window and all your panels will also be in here as well. Okay, so don't freak out if you can't see it. There we go. This is how you use panels and workspaces. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.